Seeking English SAT Workbook, page 359, problem 4. Uh, usually the fourth problem is harder than the others. This time, maybe not. Uh, it says you can use a calculator for this, or it doesn't say that you can't. I'm not sure. I don't, I don't see any way to use a calculator. It says uh, line L in the XY plane contains points from each of quadrants 1, 2, and 3, but no points from quadrant 4. Uh, which of the following must be true? A, the slope of the line L is undefined. B, the slope of the line L is 0. C, the slope of the line L is positive. And D, the slope of the line L is negative. Um, uh, if, you, if you are not secure in how quadrants and lines work together, uh, this is an important problem. Not because it's complicated. It is not complicated. But if you are not secure when you take the test, it's it's going to cost you something. So it's it's worth making sure that you get this get this item in, in your pocket uh, today, right away, because it is worth a lot and it is is actually not complicated. Um, these are your, these are your quadrants, okay? Order of quadrants: one, two, three, four. But teacher, why that order? You can go ahead and Google it, but I, I, I somehow doubt that uh, figuring out why is going to be very helpful to you on the test. If you discover any reason, and I looked briefly and gave up, uh, why that would be helpful to know on the test. Why? Tell me in the comments section. That's, that's all I should really say about that. Okay? One, two, three, four are the quadrants. This is odd. This is even. Does that matter? Well, it helps a little bit. It's one more thing to understand about the quadrants that actually is helpful to understand. Uh, so let's let's look though at, at our, our our answers. Lines are not line segments. Lines go off in both directions into space forever. Uh, a consequence of that is that no matter how high, low, left, or right a diagonal line is on in, in, in this uh, space, it will always occupy. Uh, two, two quadrants and normally a third quadrant, depending. Does, is the origin a, is that part of a quadrant? Maybe not. So if it goes to the origin, you could say it occupies two quadrants. It's a, it's a debate that's not going to be useful for you uh, today or probably on the test. Uh, this is what I'm going to tell you, though. Lines go off infinitely in both directions, and a consequence of that is that a line must always occupy absolutely a minimum of two quadrants. Okay, so uh, it says, A, the slope of line L is undefined. By undefined, uh, I think of that as being infinite slope, which is a completely vertical line. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to occupy this, or it's going to occupy that. So it's either going to be uh, an even quadrant and an odd quadrant, or an odd quadrant and an even quadrant. But it's going to be two quadrants, not three. Okay, uh, the other choice is the slope of line L is zero, and that would be here, or I guess exactly on here, or down here in any case, uh, basically two quadrants. Again, that's just the, you just take the, the other slope, you take infinity and turn it sideways and it becomes zero, I guess. Okay, same principle there. Uh, so, those are not diagonal lines. Let's talk about these diagonal lines. The slope of line L is positive. That This is a positive slope here, okay? There. From here up to here, or vice versa, Okay, Be because the line goes on forever, it must, if it is positive, occupy quadrant one and quadrant three. Okay, it could also occupy quadrant two or quadrant four, but not both. Okay, so it could occupy these three quadrants or these three quadrants. And a negative slope is kind of the other way. It's going to occupy the even quadrants, two and four possibly quadrant one or quadrant three, but not both. Okay? Uh, it, this, 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 doesn't, this shouldn't seem like a lot to absorb, okay? If it's unfamiliar, you're going to be surprised how, how quickly it seems familiar to you and how quickly it seems obvious. So don't be intimidated by this at all. It's a small amount of information, and it's worth a lot on the test in terms of, of this. If you don't have it, you're in big trouble. Okay, if you do have it and it's not much, it's gonna it's gonna give you a lot less to juggle on problems that, that are that involve quadrants and are a little bit more complex. Okay, put the quadrant thing in your pocket. It's easy. It's worth a lot. Make sure that you get it right today. Okay, 
So in this problem, it says quadrants 1, 2, 3, but not 4. And you can tell by which quadrant is excluded whether the slope is positive or negative. Okay. I need to draw this. It is 1, two, 1 and 3, and then 2. It goes something like this. Okay. Don't worry about the scale. doesn't matter. If you can see it's passing through quadrant 2, fine. Okay. This, this is all you need to know about this. Quadrant 4 is excluded. This approximates your line. For the purposes of this problem, that is your line. Okay? Quadrant 4 is excluded. Positive slope. That's it. Uh, if, the, if this is still confusing to you, and sometimes I, even when I over-explain things, they are still confusing to people. If this is still confusing to you, please do not hesitate to tell me. Tell me in the comments section that something is still confusing to you. Do not be embarrassed. Do not be ashamed. Okay? If there's a way I can get you those extra points on the test, I want to do that. Thank you.